Right, so I got another video for you today. I am out in some state game lands in South Central Pennsylvania, specifically Dauphin County. We are looking at beautiful, albeit relatively low and slower moving, uh, Clark's Creek. I do have my fly rod. Uh, Clark's Creek is a technically a uh, tailwater fishery coming out of a ice cold reservoir. I think it's like the Day Hart Dam. Um, we are pushing in just a little bit. We are kind of in the section right below the dam release, uh, so the water should be nice and cold. I do have my eight foot fly rod. We are gonna try to do some dry fly fishing this evening. I may also pop over to Stony Creek at some point, not 100% sure, but we are starting out here. And we're gonna just see what happens. Um, Clark's is where I kind of cut my teeth the first couple years I was fishing because I lived in close proximity to the stream. Uh, so I do have a lot of experience specifically in this section. This is kind of where I learned to fish four or five years ago. Um, haven't been back in a while. The wild brown trout population in Clark's, I think, has kind of been um, declining over the last couple years. Definitely not as robust as previous years. I think it's because of um, something about like hemlock trees, unfortunately dying, falling in the stream, creating a lot of dead water, uh, not good wild brown trout natural reproduction and habitat so anyways i'm gonna stop talking and we're just gonna push in and kind of see what happens i mean you can kind of even see right here it's although the water is crystal clear and uh high quality it's just very stagnant so we're gonna try to find some better water keep pushing in and we'll just see what happens let's just see what happens So I just got to a spot where I'm seeing some very small, very small fish rise. They're probably like fall fish, but I'm just gonna see what happens. Got him. Got him. Somehow there's a stick involved too. All right, we just got a nice, I'm gonna say stock brownie. Yeah, we got a nice stock brownie, that's okay. That's okay, so we're gonna get the stock brownie, caught him on the BWO, we're gonna get the hook right at him, take a look at him. All right, so we just got our first fish, caught him on the BWO dry fly, right over there. Caught him on my fly rod, sitting right over there. Anyways, um, of the three common stock trout species in Pennsylvania, the one I hate catching the least, not a big fan of stock fish, um, is probably the brown trout because they at least have the best chance for, you know, natural reproduction um, overall. So not a bad, not a bad fish, you know, definitely not a bad fish. Clearly a small stalker, clearly a small stalker. No, no beautiful colors. Some people, no one has ever asked me, but I'll tell you. Some people ask, um, how do you know, you know, a stalker compared to a wild fish? A couple things. Uh, usually it's the colors of the reds, the red spots, um, the red in the adipose fin. Um, really it's just like an overall vibrancy. Um, you know, just just little little tricks of the trade like that. Anyway, so we got our first fish. That's pretty cool. Um, fish are still rising over there, so we're going to plop out this super wet, haggard BWO and see what happens. Chain flies. My BWO is pretty wet and pretty haggard looking, but we're gonna try it just one more time. Probably overcasting here, that's, that's fine.
I need to move up just a just a smidge. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Took the BWL. Took the BWL. Looks like another stock brownie. That's okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. You know, I almost didn't grab my fly rod. I almost grabbed my spinning rod. Glad I grabbed the fly rod. What do you know? Oh, he's fighting pretty hard. He's fighting pretty hard. Let's make sure we can land him. Let's not count our eggs before they hatch or whatever they say. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Almost had him, son of a gun. Got him. All right, that's a little bit chunkier. Definitely another stalker, unfortunately. So let me get the hook out of him. We'll take a freaking look at him. All right, so this is about as stocked of a stalker as you're gonna get. No reds, uniformly 11 inches. Um, the spots are kind of running together. As I say, I mean, we love, we love all trial. There is a hierarchy to it, um, as with all life, but um, yeah, we're just gonna get this, we're gonna get this big old 11 inch cookie cutter stock brown right out of here. I don't, I don't even wanna touch him. No, no disrespect to him. I don't even wanna touch him. We're just gonna let him right out of here. Get out of here. That's a, that's a quick clean ethical release, I think. So that's great, two in a row. I'm gonna stay at this uh, little stretch for maybe two or three more minutes, throw out this raggedy BWO, see what happens, then we're gonna move on. All right, so I can see some fish rise in this, not in here, unfortunately, but up over there, I just saw what was either a juvenile bald eagle or maybe an osprey. I don't know if osprey are up here at this time of year, but maybe a juvenile bald eagle. We're gonna move into position right up there. I was waiting to see if anything was gonna surface here. Nothing, even though this is one of the better pools in this section. So we're gonna push up a little bit and see what happens. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's fighting pretty hard. He's fighting pretty hard. I would love to see a wild, but uh, wild brown and not all these stock browns. That's definitely a trout. Let's see if it's a stalker or if it's a wild guy. We shall see. Kind of on the small side. All right, that'll be a stalker, but that's okay. That's okay. So let's get the hook at him, take a look at him. Awesome. All right, so we got our third brown trout, hit the BWO. Another cookie cutter stock trout, stock brownie. We're gonna get him right out of here. Let's get him out of here. Hold on, bud, hold on. We'll get you out of here, hold on. Hold on. Like I said, pretty cookie cutter. Let's get him out of here. So we just got our third, just got our third uh, stock bow and pretty, or I'm sorry, stock brown trout in pretty short order, just on these uh, little BWOs, pretty nice. I am a little disconcerted though, insofar as I haven't seen any wild brown trout yet. And like I said, even just like four years ago, I would catch mostly wild browns in Clark. So although I'm having a good time, um, it really does suck to uh, not see some of these wild browns. Um, anyways, I'm letting this nice long stretch calm down after catching that last one. I saw a couple other fish rise, um, so I'm just giving it a little bit of time, watching the water, studying the water. Really, I've really grown as a fisherman, I would say.
Oh, got him. Got him. Got one. That's another brown. Really hoping one of these are gonna be a wild guy. We shall see. Looks like another stalker, maybe not. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, got him. All right, yeah, we got another little stalker here. That's okay. Let's get the BWO right out of him. Take a look at him. All right, so we just got our fourth, presumably, yeah, it's a stalker, stock brown, right on the, uh, right on the BWO. We'll get them right out of here. Not really great colors for a stalker. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here. All right, so we are, uh, at least for me, we are slapping them today on this dry fly. It's pretty great. Let's see if we can get just one more right here. Oh, got him. Oh, he popped off. Damn it. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Feels pretty good. Probably another stock brownie. Who knows? Oh, he's fighting. Ooh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. This looks like a wild brown. Thank you, it took five fish. I am 99% sure this is a wild brown based on the coloration. Really wanna get this guy in the net to confirm. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, 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 got him. Is that a wild brown? Uh, perhaps. Actually, that might be a stalker, who knows? Either way, fifth brown. Let's get the hook out of him, take a look at him. Oh, so I will say this is definitely the best looking fish today. I still am pretty sure. Yeah, it's still a stalker. Best looking fish today there. Not bad, not bad. Get out of here, bud. They're actually a little bit smaller in here. Usually stock fish are right around 11 inches. These have all been a little bit smaller, I think, but whatever. We're just gonna keep slinging it out there. Oh, got him. Got him. Oh, this one's fighting. Got him. All right, let's get the hook out of him. Take a look at him. Awesome. Another stalker. No wild fish. Very, very concerning, but still fun. So let's get this. Uh, this is probably the biggest guy, of the biggest guy of the day. Not bad. Let's get him right out of here. I'm just gonna plop him out of here. Get out of here, bud. Whoo! All right, so that was all we got on Clark's Creek. We did eventually um, head over, right over the mountainside to another stream called Stony Creek. So uh, here's a little bit of that. We're now out on Stony. I didn't feel like driving to the much more secluded and nicer uh, state game land section of Stony Creek. So I'm actually in like really uh, some of the lower sections of Stony uh, near where it dumps into the Susquehanna River. Um, the water, even after rain is, Still kind of on the low side. Anyways, if we could pick off, honestly, with the road right there, um, if we could pick off just like one or two stalkers over the course of the next like 30, 45 minutes, that would be really wonderful. Not seeing a lot of bugs on this side of the mountain. Uh, actually, I do see a pretty good amount over there. So maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, I'm gonna push ahead, start slinging out the BWO. We'll just see what happens. Oh, just had a hit. Ah, just had my first hit very quickly. Very quickly.
Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Yep, that's a that's a fish right there. That's pretty early on. That's wonderful. Pretty sure that's a trout too. Oh, he's fighting. He's fighting. Is that a trout? Yeah, it is a trout. Nice. I think that's a stock brownie. Got a nice little stock brownie right here. Oh, let's try to get him in the net. Oh, let's get him in the net. All right, all right. Whew. All right, that was quick. So let's get the hook at him. We'll take a look at him. Awesome. It's so extremely early on. We got a uh, nice little stalker. I mean, nothing crazy. Definitely, uh, definitely not the the nicest fish I've ever seen. Um, but that's pretty cool. Hit the BWO pretty early on. Um, we're gonna just get him. We're just gonna get him right out of here. I don't, I don't even want to touch him. Let's just plop him out of here. He's out of here. Awesome. All right, we just smacked our first fish. My BWO is dripping wet. Probably will not successfully plop on the water, but we shall see. Missed it. What a scrub. Just got another fish. I don't think that's a trout. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't really look like a trout. I feel like a trout, but I've been wrong. Not often, but I have been wrong. Is that is that a trout? What is that? Looks like a small stalker. Yeah, I think that'll be a small stalker. Oh, let's get him in here. Whew. All right, we just got a teeny tiny stalker. Normally I'd say this is a wild fish. Not sure if it is. Anyways, let's get the hook at him. Take a freaking look at him. All right, so we just got our second brown. Pretty sure this is a stalker. Definitely on the smaller side, but not terrible. Not uh, not terrible at all. I'm gonna get him right out of here. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, it's definitely a stalker. Not bad. Get out of here, bud. Ugh, get out of here. All right, so with beautiful, albeit not productive for wild trout and only stock trout, Stony Creek in the foreground, we are gonna wrap up for today. So we did some dry fly fishing first on Clark's Creek, uh, managed to catch five or six stock brown trout, then popped over here to Stony Creek. Um, and in, in about, I don't, I don't know, like 15 or 20 minutes, um, caught two stock brown trout again. It is unfortunate that, um, especially for Clark's, that there aren't as many wild fish as there used to be. I know with Stony with um, you know AMD, even though they do some limestone remediation efforts in the headwaters, there's really just not a lot of wild and or native fish um, really in either of these watersheds anymore. Hopefully that can be remedied moving forward. Either way, still had a nice time. Uh, it's good to get dry fly fishing practice. So as a super loud, presumably truck goes by, that's all we got. Hold on, hold on. Let me wait for this car to go by. God, these are the times I hate my life. So, so. That's all we got for today. As always, thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll catch some more fish next time.